This is Mick Mill live from 7 HR Team Studios in Hobart. Today, the biggest game show around. Who'd want to be a politician? We've got Andrew Wilkie from the Independents, Tanya Dennison from the Liberal Party, Jane Austen from Labor, Anna Reynolds of Green, and Deb Thurley from Party United. All right, I'm Andrew Wilkie, the Independent Member for Denison. I'm Tanya Dennison, I'm the Liberal Candidate for Denison. Hello, I'm Anna Reynolds, the Greens Candidate for Denison. Hi, I'm Jane Austen, the Labor candidate for Denison. Hello, I'm Deborah Thurley, the Palmer United Party representative for Denison. Guys and girls, all you need to do is yell out your party. That will be your buzzer. If you want to buzz in, all we need to hear are your buzzers. So why don't we run through the buzzers first? Mr Wilkie, Indy. <laughs> <laughs> Liberal. Greens. Labor. United. Ah, so yeah, I can abbreviate that. Who do you want to be a politician? Our first question to our lovely panel. Whose performance at the American Video Music Awards left hey, Thank you, Tanya. Miley Cyrus! Oh, <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Second question. James Hurd was the coach who... Lovely, James. Well done. To labour so far. Mm. Here's a curly one. Uh, who is the caretaker prime minister? Indy. Kevin Wright. Well done. True or false? Sonia Kruger is a great host of AGT. Indy. Oh. Well done. Of course, Sonia Kruger hosted Big Brother. <laughs> Okay, this one is from the Australian Citizenship Test. What is the floral emblem of Australia? Any. Oh, whoa! <laughs> uh, the waddle. Well done! <laughs> Andrew Wilkie, well out in front at the moment, sort of like the last time we went to the polls. <laughs> and here is our final question. Although, no, let's pop another one in. Which want to be Prime Minister twerked? Pop. <laughs> now, Deb, you're not willing to give us your own version thereof? No, okay. You're not sure what it is. Nobody is. Uh, Mick, you want to show? No, no, don't worry. no, we don't. And this is our final question. Out of everyone in this room, except for your support staff and 7HOFM staff, who has the most sex appeal? Let up. <laughs> <laughs> and of all of these people, oh, <laughs> watching of that one, oh, look, I just say that we've uh, all uh, oozing all sorts of appeal. Today, so. <laughs> Who do you think uh, has the most sex appeal of our panel today? Oh, with the panel, I was mm -hmm. looking at my show. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, and because I am a heterosexual woman. Well, oh, oh, you got it. What about we? <laughs> to say Anna, so you're sitting next to me. Oh, Very glam green. Well, I'd, I'd have to say the uh, the women in the room are, are, have got a bit of sex appeal, and uh, the women, uh, we, we're keen to see a, a woman in Denison, because we've never had a woman represented in Denison, so, yeah. Well answered. Well, look, I don't have tickets on myself, but I did spend the morning down at Capri, so I smell like chocolate, so I think that's really important when it comes to sex <laughs> <laughs> terrible trouble that Tony Abbott got, in, got into by saying a candidate has sex appeal. I will refuse to answer the oh, question. Uh, <laughs> on the grounds you may incriminate himself. <laughs> well, it seems in the wash-up, looking at my little points tally here, Andrew Wilkie, independent for Denison, is the winner of our Who Would Want To Be A Politician <laughs> quiz. <laughs> I had no idea about the true or false one. You did very well! <laughs> Andrew, romance, lights on, lights off. Amber. Romance, can you? Lights on, lights off. Take it as a lot of time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Okay. Anna. Mm -hmm. Romance, Anna. Lights on, lights off. Oh, that's the candlelight. Oh, oh, that's the answer. Jane. Romance. Lights on, lights off. Oh, we're looking at a girl who bites both. <laughs> uh, Deb. Romance. Lights on, lights off. The lights always do. Always.